Hey YouTube, this is Eric from Thumbo Mop Fishing, and uh, we just started fishing. We were actually heading across the lake towards the spot where we saw a big patch of red on the graph. So we stopped and started thumping, and this is what we're seeing. There's a huge school of fish out here in the deep water. We're in 67 feet of water out on the main river channel, and uh, there's a bunch of fish out here. So we turned on the thumper, and you can see they're starting to react to the graph. They're starting to build up underneath the boat. So hopefully we'll get out here and catch a few. this. Let me get around here real quick. When you get a bite like that, you're going to have to check them. Because yesterday, one bite like that, and they were killing the bait. Yeah, but they were killing the bait yesterday, like in one bite. So you check that one. I'll check this one. These were, these were both at 30. Although, right now, with all the fish, I don't know if it matters. If you see a bite, you got to grab it quick, because they're going to take the bait.
these are the fish we've been catching. This is actually a little on the small side, but uh, we've been catching plenty of these nice quality box fish, kind of one after the other. So we're going to keep on after it. got these bait rods so basically I have my braid here I'm gonna take a two ounce weight egg sinker I'm gonna thread the braid through the egg sinker I'm gonna lower that down then I've got a plastic bead I'm gonna take a plastic bead I'm gonna lower, lower that down and then what I've got here is that owner number six Super Muda light fishing hook, and I've got it on a about a two and a half foot leader, fluorocarbon leader, with 20 pound fluorocarbon. Just gonna basically tie that on with a. I use a cinch knot. Use whatever knot you want. With braid, especially cinch knots come out really easy, so I wrap it about 10 times. So I'll take and wrap it. shad this is a thread pin basically I'm gonna go in through one nostril with the point of the hook and then it should go very easily pass through and go out the other nostril and your shad's hooked up like that and you're ready to go
one of the things we're trying out today are these new rod holders. So Mike Smedley's got a fishing channel, Team Old School, and he mentioned these that his buddy Joey makes, and I reached out to Joey and got a couple sets. So what I've done is I put two sets of rod holders on each side. I didn't have to drill my new boat. They just slide into the rod holder, and then you can put four rod holders in. We, we couldn't even get all these rods set up yet because uh, we've been fights all over the place. But this is what they look like, and I'll try to get some action photos as we're throughout this video as we're using them. So I'll just show you all how we found the fish today. This is what a sonar looks like. I was running pretty quickly, uh, probably around 30 miles an hour. And what you see is you see these red flakes. And what these red dots are, when you're running at full speed, those are actually fish. So I slowed down again, and you can see that where these red arcs are, you're seeing the fish. All right, YouTube, so we've been fishing here for about two hours. We've almost caught our limit at 30 fish. This is what the graph looks like. What was happening is we were actually cruising, heading for our spot that we were planning to fish at where we fished yesterday. And I just saw a lot of red marks on the graph. And when we stopped, we saw the graph was loaded up with fish. So we decided to go ahead and uh, hit spot lock, drop some base down, turn on the thumper. We caught a bunch of fish and then the fish had slowed down a little bit. So what we decided to do then was go ahead and drift. So we're actually drifting. But you can see from our track, we really haven't drifted very far at all. We're pretty much fishing the same original spot. And you can also see from the graph, you know, we've got our baits down probably around 30 and 45 foot. But you can see there's plenty of fish in between. So we've been getting a pretty steady set of bites. I'll show you how we've got the boat rigged out. So what I did on the front is I basically put two rod holders along the rail. And that's where we fish the uh, front rods. I can actually put another rod in the middle. But that's a lot of work to, uh, to manage all these rods. Then on the back side, as I mentioned before, we bought these rod holders. So this is what they look like when they're fully deployed. We basically got two rods in each rod holder. And we put one rod holder in each of the built-in boat rod holders. And that's worked very well. Ed's over here. He's got his set up. He's been catching fish pretty steady. Uh, I've been catching some good fish. So we're just working through and uh, working on our limit. You can see what just happened is we had a pretty big school of fish pass through on the graph. You can see them right there. So what you can see is that the thumper's working, fish are coming by, occasionally they're hearing it, they're swimming in, they're checking it out, and we're hooking up. So that's the way it's been going all day. Like I said, we're almost limited out. If I look at the uh, ticker, we just caught 28 fish, and we got one over, so 29 fish. We've got one more fish to go, and then we're done for the day. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. There you go, Imran. Number 30 right there, baby. On the money. On the money. Got him on video. He even got his bite. All right, guys. That's a wrap. 9.33. 30 fish in the boat. That's a new Doesn't record. get any better than that. That's a new record.